Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars with a pretty sweet little uh, 1954 Chevrolet short bed truck. Um, I'm going to take you for a spin here and let show you around the truck in the um, cul-de-sac. It's got a 5.7 LT1 engine out of a Trans Am, um, supposedly with 70,000 miles on it. Uh, 4L60E transmission out of the same vehicle, um, and it's sitting on to 1990 S10 uh, chassis. So... Um, it's got a 9 bolt rear end, fuel injection of course, and it's been a little cold here. So she's still running a little cold. Had some cold snaps down here in Georgia, not that anybody up from up north would give me a lot of <laughs> grace for that. But anyways, great running truck. Tons of power, it's super I'm trying to be uh, graceful to my neighbors here because it's, it's got actually a pretty aggressive exhaust on it. I love the way it sounds, but you know, it doesn't take much to change mufflers if you want to quiet it down. It's built kind of like a shop truck, hot rod, you know. This actually came from my buddy Brandon. He uh, finds does a good job of finding really nice cabs and he found this entire truck actually finished putting it together steers nice and easy diesel just a hair there so um, a couple of these uh, trucks that I've gotten uh, uh, not a couple most of these trucks that I've gotten have uh, uh, Patriot headers it says have um, not been flashed you know and that's the right thing to do take it down to the hot rod shop local guys said that you have a warranty on it and everything pay a couple hundred bucks let them flash the engine and it'll drive like a brand new um, so the other thing too is like i said it's i mean this truck's probably been driven literally to be honest no more than about 25 maybe 30 miles since it was built so it's got you know it needs to be driven it's kind of like <laughs> even a new car a new build same way uh it needs to be driven probably 500 miles a thousand miles and then go around and torque stuff you know but man what a sweet looking truck body is super straight on it nice wheels 18s brand new tires it's got almost every single thing that's got chrome is brand new except for the gas cap and i think like one other thing new bumper chrome bumper the new uh, chrome ringed brake lights tail lights new chrome chains new aluminum wheels uh, these are the original and they were in nice shape so he left them everything else mirrors windshield wipers door handles um, all that front beauty rings front bumper all this stuff is new chrome i don't think that the turn signal chrome is brand new it's not so almost almost everything um, go into the interior as well completely redone just stock style cardboard uh, door panels you know that you get the interior kit from lmc new carpet Nice, comfy, original seat with brand new uh, vinyl on it. It's even got the headliner. 
I don't believe that the um, light is working. Um, it's got new wiper, everything wiper looking, but I don't think that the wipers are actually hooked up. I don't, I can't see, and I ended up <laughs> testing it out right before I was doing this video and texting him, so you can ask uh, later on, but when I turn the switch on, it's not working. So I don't, I don't think it's got the electric wiper kit in it. It's got brand new Dolphin gauges with the GPS. Um, those are really cool. Horn is not working. Brand new uh, chrome tilt column with functional turn signals. The headlights do work, brake lights, all that. Uh, horn does not work. So one thing that I really like, door shut, you know, good. You know, just like old ones. And of course they have the new brand new weather stripping around the door. And of course, doing that to make a point right there that sometimes you got to slam them a couple times. Also, the chrome around the windows is original. I don't even know if anybody makes that new or not, but um, new glass, new weather stripping. Uh, I believe that's tinted glass uh, and the three back windows and uh, or side, you know, side cab and uh, rear window. Let's see what else. So let's take a look at the body real quick. That's what I was going to say. One thing I really liked about this truck, made me jump jump on it uh, to help find a new home, <laughs> is uh, the body is extremely straight. There are a few tiny spots here and there um, that you might, you would want to uh, pay attention to, like these a couple of little holes in the cab corner. They're on both sides. Um, if you were going to do a high dollar paint job, these are just a couple of little spots that you'd want to attend to and then do a little filler. Uh, block and sand, you know, there's a couple little spots here and there, but overall very very straight And that's what I was trying to get at is super straight body. Um, I think I'm with a minimal amount of, of uh, Smoother and blocking you could make a really nice paint job on that this truck That being said, uh, and of course it's all steel and it's all original. Uh, this was all one truck. It wasn't put together um, That being said the truck looks awesome the way it is so Personally, if I was going to keep this truck, I'd probably put, I thought about maybe making a Jack Daniels truck out of it, putting the old number seven logo from like the forties bat on the door, you know, putting established in and all that stuff on it. Maybe they make a little theme vehicle out of it. Uh, you know, like a Jack Daniels truck or, or like a hot rod shop truck. So if it was me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think about painting this truck, but a lot of people call and ask. So that's why I was mentioning it. Let's see. Step side here. It's got a little crack in it. Other than that, looks pretty solid. Well, now there's another spot right there. I know that the cab corner also has a little hole there. And I believe these to be the original cab corners. We'll go underneath it in just a second. Uh, bottoms of the doors and original weep holes and all that are in great shape. I think actually this front fender looks like it could be a repop. I was saying earlier that it was all original, but may have new fenders on it. So typical rust spot here on the step sides. The rest of the step sides look good. And then under the truck, same thing. Original cab corners, I believe it looks like they've not been patched with a couple of tiny little holes there. And then these original floor pans look amazing. Of course, it's got these little can flow masters on it. So it's got a nice, like I said, nice aggressive exhaust. And of course, it's got just turned down here. So and if I was keeping the truck, I'd probably take it out the back um but like again again like i said depends on what i did with it new fuel tank here in the rear new shocks ten volt rear end i think i might have accidentally said nine earlier for some reason I just caught myself and same thing over here i think i already showed you these doors but the weep holes a little bit of rust here in the cab corner Man, I've been really surprised at how high these have gone. I remember when we were buying these trucks. Well, not necessarily in this condition, actually. This price range has always been fairly consistent, but uh, S10 frame looks awesome. Uh, just some simple bolt-on exhaust is what it's got. That's another thing, too, of course. If I was keeping this, I'd take the exhaust up. It's hanging down. It gives it kind of a hot rod look, but... I'd probably take it up. Like I said, again, if I did a Jack Daniels truck out of it, I wouldn't do anything. If I uh, if I was gonna go nicer with it, then yeah, there's a few little things I'd do. Finish off the wipers, um, 
you know, take the exhaust out the back, uh, probably, you know, sand it down a little bit and straighten it out just a touch and then paint, put a nice paint job on it. If you're going to do all that, you know, that's a whole nother project, but I love this truck. It runs great. It drives great. It looks amazing. Um, tons of attention and, uh, you know, like I said, I think this is a great truck for somebody who said, who said they wanted to skip the project and get to the end result. This is it. This is the end of the project. Now you get to drive it tinker with you know the the little bug fixes that's just anybody who restores any vehicle you're going to have little bugs that you're going to you know tinker with over the next you know six months or whatever three months you know 500 miles thousand miles or whatever so all right well peace your classic cars we look forward to hearing from you i got chatty on this truck because i love it and um yeah give us a call